Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna make six individual flannes for dessert with a strawberry with chocolate, melted chocolate on the strawberry. So this is what we're gonna need to do our dessert for today. So we're gonna use six of the small mason jars and we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes at 375 degrees. So the mason jars are fine. They're able to handle the heat. So these are the small mason jars. So we're gonna use six, and you could use any kind of pan that you have to make um, like muffins, or if you don't have it, if you have a round one with cake for to make a cake, you could use that one, but I'm gonna use this one because um, we're gonna put them on water in the oven. So we're gonna use one, one um, can of condensed milk. Then we're gonna use one can of evaporated milk and we're gonna use the whole thing. We're gonna use three eggs, half of Philadelphia cream cheese for our flan, and then we're gonna use half of a teaspoon of cinnamon and half of a teaspoon of vanilla. And then for our strawberries, we're gonna use half of a pack of melted dark chocolate. And these are the ingredients we're gonna to need to make our flan, so we're gonna get started. So the, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open our, our, our um, cans of evaporated milk and condensed milk. So this is a very sweet milk and it's delicious. So that's what we're gonna make our flan with. So we're gonna open this one and the evaporated milk and put it in the blender and we're gonna blend it all together to make our flan. It's gonna be delicious. And it will taste it and it will be so sweet like eggs. <laughs> <laughs> So now we open our evaporated milk. Nuh uh So we're gonna put that in the blender, the whole thing. So this is how we make our flan. And it's a simple recipe. Um, flan is like a sweet milk custard that we make for a dessert. They like cracking eggs. They like cracking eggs. They like cracking eggs, so. We have a little guest in the house, so he's talking. So um, we're gonna put the whole can of evaporated milk, the whole can. So we're gonna put it. So here's a whole can of evaporated milk in the blender to make our flan mix. So we already used that. So we're going to let my little guest, you're not going to be able to see him. No, hold on, honey. Okay. So here, you could put the cinnamon, put it inside the blender. Good job. We have a little helper here. And now you're going to put the vanilla and put it in the blender. Okay. Good job. Okay. So now, see, this is something you could do with your kids. It's easy. Mm -hmm. You just let them help yeah. you. So you could put that in the blender. Just throw it in there. You could grab it with your hand. Your hand's clean. Okay. We wash our hands slowly. <gasps> Oy. Okay. Sorry, 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 it's okay. Sorry. No worries. Okay. So now we're gonna put the three eggs in there. Can I have one? No, baby, you can't break eggs. You're too young. But look, so I here. <laughs> so see, here's one egg. It's going in there. Now we're gonna do the second egg. Okay, here, you can put it in there. So carefully put the egg inside the blender. Just put it in there. Good job. I saw it did a circle. You did it, yeah. So now we're gonna put the third egg in there. And that's all we need to make our flan mix and we're gonna put it in the blender. Strawberries? So we're gonna put it in the blender. Not yet, at the, at the end. So now we're gonna put this in the blender and that's gonna be our flan mix. So one thing I forgot that we're gonna use too, we're gonna put caramel on the bottom of our um, jars. So the um, flan could have caramel on the top. So we're just gonna add a little bit of caramel on the bottom of our, just a little bit, like a little drizzle. So I'm gonna let my little nephew put a drizzle on every cup. So see, just a little drizzle, just a little bit. There you go. So you just want to drizzle a little bit of um, caramel.
caramel on the bottom of your your cups because that's gonna be the top of your flan so that's all you need so see some of them have a little bit more than the others but that's gonna be the top of your flan mm -hmm. once it's cooked so now we're gonna add the flan and we're gonna fill it up to almost the top no it's okay honey <laughs> so like I put too much so they're gonna be delicious this is a dessert yeah. a easy dessert to make for your family but one time if you have a party and you have guests you just make this dessert and it's delicious if people like custard you be the you be the, everybody's gonna be like oh my god this is so good because this is like the easiest flying you can make and we don't make it with like a lot of egg because some people add a lot of egg to their flan I just put three eggs but remember you're you're only adding three eggs because you're adding the cream cheese no not right now so I added too much I guess so now we're gonna have to take from the other ones to add to the fifth one sorry the sixth one because I, I put too much so now we're taking a little bit from the others to add to this one so we can make it all so they could all be even and it's okay see if you make a mistake you could always fix it so there we go yeah. yes honey yeah. so now that's it we have our flan and they're yeah. ready yeah. and we're gonna preheat our oven at 375 and put them on this container and then we're yeah. gonna put water in it and then put them in a water bath to cook at 375 yeah. for 30 minutes yeah. and then we're gonna do our strawberries we're gonna put our we're gonna put our our dark chocolate to melt so we yeah. can put it on our strawberries and yeah. that's gonna go on the top of our flan yeah okay so now I have this thing that it's gonna melt the chocolate so we're only gonna use one side because we're only gonna put six strawberries with chocolate for our dessert so we're gonna add the chocolate into the little container so you want to put half Probably, it's too much, probably, well, that's well. Half of the, a little bit more than half, probably 75% of the container has the chocolate, and now we're gonna let it melt. And I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm gonna put it at high and keep an eye on these kids to make sure they don't touch it. And once it's melted, I already washed my strawberries. So we're gonna let our strawberries dry while we, while we um, wait for the chocolate to melt. So now we let the chocolate melt. So now we're gonna move our chocolate. We're gonna move the chocolate and now we're gonna dunk our strawberries in here for the top of our dessert. And we gotta let them cool down. So see, here's our chocolate, it's ready for our strawberries. So now we're gonna dunk our strawberries in here. So see, you just dunk your strawberries and then we're gonna put them to dry. See? And I'm gonna put them on, I put foil paper down so they could dry on the foil paper. So they could be ready by the, to put on top of our, um, our flan. So see? It's okay, baby. I'll be right there. Hold on. One second. So see? Before you know it, your strawberries are ready. And here they go. So see, you just put it around. And then you dunk it. You take it out. Here's our last strawberry. So now we're gonna let them dry so they could be ready for the time we finish our, our flan. So we already took our flans out of the oven and now we're gonna let them cool down and we're gonna put the knife all around so we could separate them from the, from the jar so we could take them out when we flip them over. So this is how I do it, I just go all around the jar so I could separate the flan from the, so 
so then I'm gonna do the next one the same thing just go all around with the knife and then we're gonna let them sit for about three minutes and or five minutes and once they're cooled down we could flip them over and put them in our serving plate so now we're gonna flip this one over we let it cool for three minutes and now we're gonna flip them over let's see what happens so now we're gonna flip this one over we let it cool for three minutes and now we're gonna flip them over. Let's see what happens. Oh, look how nice and pretty it's gonna fall. There's still, it's still hot. Thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you like my recipe.